Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Colleen. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I got ready for my birthday within a day and I am kind of excited for you guys to see this one. I was in the middle of making this video and completely forgot about making an intro. So if you guys want to see how I made a shirt and got ready, took my photos within 24 hours, then just keep watching. So I've always loved this style top. It's probably one of my favorites right now. I just never had the chance to get it. So what do you do when you're in time crunch? You make the shirt. So I basically found a pair of leggings and you obviously don't have to buy a new pair. I basically just bought it because they had the color that I liked and it was also on sale, which was a plus. So that is why, but you can definitely just use an old pair of leggings that you have. Today or yesterday, I got my Aritzia package in and I got this cute little skirt from Maritzia and it has like a little cinching it looks like it just kind of goes straight but it does hug your body a little bit this i got in a size zero but this was a color that i really really wanted instead of getting my hopes up and ordering something that probably won't come on time um i decided to just order a pair of leggings from Maritzia because their Maritzia shipping is super fast and we are gonna make the shirt out of this i've watched some videos i'll link the one that i watched that kind of had the similar vibe she did it a little bit differently Basically, it's just with any piece of fabric, but Aritzia happened to have a color that matched the skirt that I'm wearing. Um, I also tried it on with the Melina pants and it looks so cute. That is what we are going to do today. We are going to try and attempt to make the shirt that I really, really wanted into my birthday shirt. So here I'm essentially just measuring out how long each leg was and visualizing how much fabric I needed. Each leg was 23 inches not including the waist but because the leggings were a high rise I ended up cutting off the waistband along the provided seam because it was just excess fabric that we didn't need. And then I started messing around with fashion tape thinking it could substitute sewing but don't even bother sis because it left this stain that was so tacky on the crotch area and that's what we don't want. So this is kind of what the back is going to be left looking like. So it's kind of just hanging. This is what we want. This is what we don't want at the bottom. And all we are going to do, because I cannot sew for the life of me, you're just going to fold everything up. Okay, update on the shirt. I kind of figured out a way to kind of fold everything in. This is what the leggings look like right now. So now I think what we'll do is we'll just push that up like that and then this upwards like that. You basically just want to align the inner thigh line with that fold that you just made. And then again, like that. When we tie it, it'll look a lot more seamless. So now that you've folded everything like so, here is a demo on how to wrap it. Just make sure that the folds that you've made are on the inside of the shirt and are not exposed on the outside so that everything just looks seamless and legit. Take the angles of the leggings, wrap that across your chest, and then loop it across on opposite shoulders. I basically tied it with one knot because these were capri leggings and didn't have enough fabric to do a double knot, but um, you basically just tie the loose ends and twist it underneath if that makes any sense, but otherwise you can just watch how I do it. All right guys, so we are finally back in this little filming room that I used to use. It's actually my laundry room. If you guys live in an Asian household like myself, you guys know exactly what I mean when I say it's super loud. If you guys were wondering, I'm turning 20. Obviously, I'm not in no rush to grow up, but I feel like I've always had this issue being a little bit more mature for my age. Growing up in like work environments, um, even at school, I feel like everybody has always said that I'm a lot more mature for my age, which is understandable because, you know, at the time that I started working, I was in high school and basically where I worked, there were just adults. There wasn't really teenagers or anyone my age. Um, I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is the best setting mist ever. I think it's because I hung out with my sister all of my childhood. She's five years older than me, so her and my cousin were basically the people who shaped who I am today. Yeah, and this color is really yellow, but I'll definitely fix that in a second. I also decided to pull out a new beauty blender because this is my old one. I, it's not clean, but you know, it's my birthday that we're celebrating in this video. So we are going to open a new 
beauty blender but lately i've been doing a lot more of a natural look like i haven't been wearing eyelashes as much again only because i'm filming i ever really put eyelashes on whenever i'm running errands or anything i really am just not glammed up at all really like the most i'll do is like brow gel and mascara now it's just because with masks i don't really feel obligated to i don't know do stuff like with my face but moving on with school a lot of people actually ask me like if i'm in school or am i studying anything am i interested in studying anything and if you guys are new here then you guys probably don't know but basically um, I applied for school again for this year, so I would have been in school right now. But the reason why I deferred it or just didn't go to school essentially is because of COVID. And everybody's learning skills and techniques are very different from each other. So for me, learning online is just not ideal. I also didn't want to spend my hard earned money because I am also working so that I can afford school. So I didn't want to spend like 10K on school that I have to learn online, which I don't know, for me at least, it doesn't sound reasonable. And I'm sure a lot of people that are in school right now can definitely agree with me on that. I want to go into digital communications and kind of explore that. Yeah, that is basically my school situation for anybody who's newer on my channel, but I haven't used this e.l.f. concealer in so long that I forgot how full coverage it is and I used so much of it. So I'm still here blending it like five minutes later. Have you guys seen that TikTok hack where people would put concealer on their eyelashes and then put brown eyeshadow? I don't know if I would like that look. Like it's essentially just making your eyelashes brown instead of black. And apparently it's supposed to make your eyelashes look a bit less harsh on your face. And it looks good on a lot of people. I just don't know if I would be able to do that. TikTok literally teaches you so many different things. It's actually insane. Like I've seen this TikTok that said that there's a specific term for people when they cut their arm. I mean, not their arm. When people cut their hand when cutting an avocado. I know everybody kind of has different plans, of course, for what they're going to do after, you know, all this goes back to whatever sort of normal we have left. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer right now, but I'm gonna use my old sponge because it's already brown. Um, I think what I wanna do is I do wanna focus on my YouTube channel. If you guys have noticed, which I'm very glad that some of you guys do, but I have been trying to stay on track with everything on YouTube. So I've been trying to upload a video every single week, the same day, Thursdays, so if you guys have noticed that reoccurring pattern that is my uploading day so i'm really happy that a lot of you guys are enjoying my videos i definitely try my best to put as much effort as i can in my videos and literally everything that i do i always try to give it my all i'm really proud of myself for you know pursuing whatever i'm doing right now and i am really happy with what my channel has become and very thankful for a lot of you guys because without you guys obviously i wouldn't have like my little baby community thank you so much for you know supporting me everybody on this channel subscribing commenting sharing which a lot of my friends i'm so grateful for you guys because without you guys promoting me um where would i have been i don't know if you guys are honestly thinking of starting a YouTube, I will only ever recommend and encourage you to do so because why not? Like I always tell my friends like, why don't why you don't just, make, just a make a YouTube, YouTube channel? channel? Because I see so much potential in all of my friends, especially I'll link some of my friends in the description box because they are just like the most beautiful, intelligent and funny people that I know. And I'm so excited for them because the way that it brings me joy, like I hope it brings them joy as well. And I feel like we always support each other. That's very important in friendships that you have to support each other. But I always feel so grateful that I started doing YouTube again. When I say again is because I used to make even fashion videos on this channel. They're actually privated videos now. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys my fashion staples. I remember the first time I reached a thousand views on one of my videos. I was so excited. I think the most that this channel reached at that time was like 250 subscribers. I was so proud of that, but then people started picking on me a little bit at school. And me being like, what, grade six, I got so shy. 
just the start of my insecurities, I guess. This whole video is just gonna be me rambling about nonsense. Okay, so I was unsure about how I wanted to do my hair. I am trying to grow my hair out because my hair is at the awkward length and this is the longest it has been in a while. I'm just gonna quickly curl my hair if you guys want. You guys really don't have a say until I post the video. I am just gonna record this little time lapse and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is the official outfit on. This is the skirt that we were going to wear. I feel like the skirt is too dressy for the look, so I opted out. And these are with the Molina pants on. All right, guys, <laughs> if you guys want to see the official photos that I took for my birthday, then they'll be on my Instagram at Colleen Ho. So definitely go check that out if you want to. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. She said she the one, I bet she thinks she is. Stand on high, no trust, I don't know where you been. I need a break. On brace. I'm on a wave, like late Michigan.